photo. So I am going to bring you the words of wisdom from Chuck Anderson. So like I told you, I met him a long time ago when I was student teaching and he had just graduated high school. And he came in and he showed my students how to do these concepts and how to make these glows and everything. Okay, so I'm going to be walking you through three different exercises. Um, one, well, I'll show you this one. I'm going to show you how to um, make streaks. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow and how to make stars. Okay, with any of these techniques, it is so important that you start by making an empty layer. Okay, you do not want to do these things on the picture layer. Okay, so any of these techniques, you have to make a layer. So on the right, I'm looking for the box with the plus in it, and I'm going to select that and say new layer. Okay, I want to make sure that that new layer is selected when I make anything. Okay, so how does he do this? Okay, first he starts off with a selection. So I'm just going to go ahead and select like a rectangle. Okay, then I'm going to go to my paintbrush. And I need to make sure that my hardness is set to zero. I want to have a very soft edge brush. And we can see um, that that here, that it's going to have a soft edge. Versus if I did this, that's a hard edge. And this is a soft edge. So now you can see that. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to pick a very vivid color. So let's take a look, actually look at his work. Um, from his er his early work and what I'm talking about with these like these uh, streaks is we can see them right here. Do you see them? Do you see them? So this is how he's doing that and we're gonna do that right now. So there's some streaks. Okay, I think I think you guys are kind of getting the oh the Lupe Fiasco one. You can see that. Okay, it's very evident. Okay, so let's go back. Let's. Oh, he starts with now. He's using these like really, really vivid colors. Okay, and then we got to pick a size brush. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay, now this is the thing: is that here is my selection in this rectangle. I'm actually going to paint outside of it. So I'm actually gonna hit somewhere above in like the the sky. Okay, and I'm just hitting a little bit more. Okay, then I'm gonna change colors and I'm gonna do like, I don't know, like minty, okay? And I'm doing the same thing where I'm, I'm tapping in the sky. And so the very edge of the brush is inside the selection. Let's do that again, I'm gonna to like a very vivid green. And then I'm gonna tap over here. So I'm tapping in the sky but it's the very edge of the brush is inside that selection, okay? So it's selected, and now I'm gonna hit deselect, and there's my streak, okay? Now, notice that uh, I have on the right there, it does not looking so good, so I'm gonna pick the eraser tool, make sure that it's a zero hardness, and I'm gonna erase, yeah, there we go, uh, just on the right there, so it's a little bit more clean. Now, what could I do that with this? I'm gonna select the transform, and I can rotate it and I can put this wherever I want to and make it whatever size that I want to. I could also um, duplicate this streak and oops, I have a racer still stuck. Um, I can put it somewhere else and I again can transform it. Maybe I want it to be smaller. Okay, what else? I could take this, go to adjustments and I could go to hue saturation and I could change the colors of this streak or the saturation of the streak or the lightness of the streak, okay? So thinking of that, okay, too, I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna go, so I just selected this. What if I just use the lasso tool and I made some like crazy shape Okay, and I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush and I'm gonna go back to um, like a, a crazy pink. And so I'm gonna tap, I'm tapping on the left of the actual object, so only the edge. Okay, deselect, and now I have this crazy, you know, streak. Okay, the other option you have here is you could go to um, Gaussian Blur 
and maybe you blur it slightly more or less, you know, uh, to get that kind of technique. And again, after you make it on its own layer, you can transform it and rotate it and create all these like crazy things with it after you've created it. Okay. And that's how Gunner showed me. Oh, his pat his website is nopattern.com. His older work uh, uses this technique, but that's how he makes all those glows. We can see that um, in this ESPN layout. That's how he did it.